something this morning. Someone is going through a storm in their life. This morning we come, Father, to lift them and let them know that through you, Father, we come through every storm. Through you, Father, we come through every battle. Through you, Father, we come through every war. Through you, Father, we come in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahshua, the one who has more power in, his, in the hem of his garment than any doctor, any lawyer, any politician. Someone within the sound of my voice has a cancer and a disease, an affliction or an addiction. We ask that you eradicate it right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Someone, Father, right now has their head down. We ask that you help them to lift their head and know that we serve a God who can do anything but fail. We come this morning, Father, claiming the victory in your Son, our Lord, and our Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ, amen. We're claiming it right now. Everyone within the sound of my voice is claiming it right now with an amen. Amen. And amen. Father God, as I come right now, I ask that the words of my mouth 
and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Mold me, Father, that I do nothing but lift your holy name. In the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, I want to take a few minutes of your time and I want to talk about Storm Riding 101. Storm Riding 101. I was looking at the book of Jonah and I, I love this book. It reminds me of myself because sometimes I go in a different direction that God has sent me on. And I find myself in a storm. Many of you know what I'm talking about this morning because storm riding is real. I talk about us battling the satanic forces all of the time. God doesn't bring storms in our lives, my brothers and sisters. We bring them in our own lives. In the story of Jonah, God gave Jonah directions, clear directions. As a servant of God, he gave him directions to go to Nineveh to preach to that people, to tell them that he would destroy them if they would not turn from their wicked ways. Jonah, who had his own, for lack of a better word, his own desire to go in his own direction, took a boat, a ship, to Tarshish in a different direction. God brought a great storm. A great storm. While that ship was en route to Tarshish. And all the men and women on that boat were crying. What's going on? And all the time, Jonah simply slept. And they wondered, why are you sleeping? Do you not see what's going on around us? This straight, this great storm is impacting it. We are about to lose our lives. Jonah calmly said, this storm is because of me. Because of the God I serve. Let me tell you something. Jonah was a storm rider. Jonah was a storm rider. And we all have storms, my brothers and sisters, that come in our lives because of our failure to follow. So I want to take a moment of your time and talk about how to ride those storms. Storm riding 101. Number one, we must understand why the storms are in our lives. We must understand why the storms are in our life. Why are we in this storm in America right now? Why are we in this storm? Why this Roe versus Wade? Why are we in this storm? Because the people failed to stand and follow God. The people failed to vote. The people failed to vote. And because of that, those satanic forces in the world are dogmatizing the laws. And until the people wake up and realize who we are, whom we are, 
we will continue to falter. We will continue to fail. Let me tell you, we've taken God out of our schools. We've taken God out of our governments. We've taken God out of our communities. And I say it all the time, until we bring God back, we will continue in an endless spiral downward because we fail to keep God in our lives. We need God in America. We need God in the world more than we have ever needed God before. So first of all, my brothers and sisters, to be a successful storm rider, you must understand why we have the storms in our lives. We must understand that. That's very first. Understand why we have the calamities in our lives. Why we are so downtrodden walking around with our heads down when we should be walking around with our heads held high. If you're a child of God, you are a storm rider and you can ride any storm, but you first need to understand the reason for the storms. Number two, in order to ride the storms, that come in your life. In order to overcome those storms that come into your life, you've got to pray. You've got to pray for direction so that you can find your way out of the storms of life. There are physical storms, there are mental storms. There are all kinds of storms, my brothers and sisters. But we must pray. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses. Lead us not unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. We've got to ask for direction from God. And when we ask and when we Ask, we've got to listen. We've got to pray to God first. And then listen, listen. He will speak to your hearts when you're at the polls this year. Let God speak to your heart and do the right thing. Don't take the boat to Tarshish the opposite way. The way of the world. Lean not toward the ways of the world, but toward the ways of the word of God. Toward the ways of the ways of God. That's what we must do. Pray for direction and God will give you what you need. But first, we've got to pray for direction. Thirdly, number three, have faith and learn to wait. Have faith and learn to wait. But for those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I know I've got a witness. Someone has waited upon the Lord and he has came your way. He has delivered you from the hands of the evil ones. He continues to do it. But we've got to learn to wait the storms out. Oh, there's a great song. The storm is passing over. The storms do pass over, my brothers and sisters. And when they do, we get up. We stand. 
We mount up as wings of eagles. We walk and are not weary. We run and are not faint. We learn to wait upon the Lord. And finally, my brothers and sisters, when you've done all you can and the storm continues to rise around you, the storms of the world, the storms of life, simply stand. Simply stand. When you've done all you can, simply stand. Because we don't stand alone. We stand with our Father in heaven. Yahshua Jesus Christ said, and lo, I will be with you even until the end. When you've done all you can, simply stand. Because we don't fight that storm alone. We don't ride that storm alone. We ride with the Lord. And if God is riding with you, you are sure to have victory. You are sure to be an overcomer. You are sure to be defeating the armies that seek to take you down. Storm Riding 101. If you use those few principles, if you continue to go down on your knees and pray, God will continue to take you places you never thought you'd go. And you will continue, my brothers and sisters, to keep. You hear me? You will continue to keep the victory in sight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the victory? You must be a storm rider. And you must know the principles of storm riding 101. Are you ready for the victory? I'd like to invite you to purchase my books and my CDs on Amazon.com. I have 10 books on Amazon.com. They will lift you. They will gift you. And they will prepare you for the storms that are sure to come your way. Are you ready for the victory? Go to Amazon.com. Christopher Urban. 10 books. Two powerful CDs, which are gonna take you to the next level in the fight. Take you to the next level in the war. Take you to the next level in the battle. Get ready for the victory when you go to Amazon.com. Purchase my books and my CDs. And let's win this battle together. To God be the glory for those who know the story. God bless you.